What happens if you put Mentos candy into Diet Coke? Let's find out. To help us understand how the Diet Coke and Mentos fountain works, I thought it'd be a good idea to make some soda pop, and this machine is going to help us do that. By pushing the button on top of this machine, I'll be pumping some carbon dioxide into this bottle of water. And when that happens, carbon dioxide gets dissolved in the water. Now as long as I let this bottle remain sealed, the carbon dioxide will remain trapped in the water. But watch what happens when I break the seal. You see those bubbles? That's carbon dioxide that's escaping from the liquid. Now not all of the carbon dioxide is escaping, just a little bit, very slowly actually. It's going slowly because it takes a lot of energy to form a bubble inside a liquid. So most of the carbon dioxide remains trapped inside the water. But when a Mentos candy is added, the carbon dioxide comes out really fast and that makes the fountain. This is because the surface of the Mentos has many ready-made air bubbles into which the carbon dioxide can easily escape. Here's a fun experiment you can try to help you understand how the Diet Coke and Mentos experiment works. In this bottle is sparkling water which just has carbon dioxide dissolved in water. This is flavored seltzer water. There's other stuff dissolved in the water to give it the flavor. I'm going to shake both these up and let's see what happens. Wow, that's a pretty big difference. Now which one do you think will go higher if we put Mentos into them? Okay, I've got the seltzer water. Jackson has the flavored seltzer water. Let's see which one goes higher. Slowly. Three. One. I'm going to add some isopropyl alcohol. It seems that adding something to the seltzer water makes it go higher. We've done a lot of different experiments adding a lot of different things like sugar and citric acid to seltzer water. Whenever you dissolve something into seltzer water, smaller and more bubbles are produced during the fountain. More bubbles create more surface area between the bubbles and the liquid. This makes it much easier for carbon dioxide to escape. You can think of it as more bubbles create more escape routes for the carbon dioxide gas. And when more carbon dioxide gas escapes more quickly, you get a higher fountain. So let's look at the ingredients list in Diet Coke to see if we can't figure out why it went so high. I see carbonated water, which tells us that there's carbon dioxide dissolved in the water. I also see a lot of other things like caramel color, aspartame, phosphoric acid, citric acid. All of those things are things that have been dissolved into the Diet Coke. And we just saw that when things are added to seltzer water, the fountain goes higher. So I'll bet you all those additives in the Diet Coke help to make the Diet Coke fountain go really high. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you try out some of these experiments on your own.